Hello, strangers of YouTube. I'm Michael, and this is I Need a Haircut Gaming. We're going to look at Modoc today. I know the hype on this guy has kind of fizzled a little bit. A lot of content creators have kind of done the uh, t first 24 hours playing and experimented and largely written this guy off. Uh, I think he's still got a lot of power in him, and I'm having a lot of fun climbing with him uh, from 60. I'm sitting right around 75 now. And this is a list I discovered from another content creator called Scrub Lord. I think he did a really good job of innovating the deck in a way that makes it more budget friendly and also isn't using Dracula, which everyone else is. And I think the pieces he's uh, thrown in this deck as a substitute might actually work better. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, no Dracula, no problem. Uh, I think this guy almost might even be a trap. Uh, we'll leave it for uh, the higher ranks and see how I continue to fare, but I think the idea of leveraging Infinite as a different win condition might actually be better. Uh, it makes the deck, at least to me, feel quite a bit more consistent, especially when I'm going against uh, other MODOK players who are using the traditional lists, and I see the RNG not really uh, going along with their plans. So moving on to the strategy, I don't think there's anything really different about uh, the early game pieces. Every other modex seems to do this. Morbius is key. Colleen Wing is a great engine for getting your Wolverine Swarm going. And just, you know, largely do not play Wolverine and Swarm. Let Modoc always throw them out. Let Colleen throw them out. I think these two drops are really great because they can be played on turn two. They don't feel bad on turn three. And they don't even feel terrible on turn four if you've got Modoc to really, you know, swing your turns five and six for you. Uh, setting up turns five and six of this deck is so much fun. Lady Sif, Infinite, Ghost Rider, my favorite two-turn combo in the game. And then Swordmaster, as long as you don't have Modoc in your hand, this deck largely does not care what you throw away. And chances are it's going to benefit you. Uh, strengths of the deck, typically with this card, everything you play has value because uh, we benefit from discarding our cards. There's no RNG finishers like Hela and Dracula. We don't have to kind of shape our hand kind of dump it in a way to get the most out of Dracula. We just, you got Modoc on five, you got Morbius down, you're off to the races. And then I think Infinite is a massive wild card. I have played Infinite decks in the past. I have never played Infinite as much as he finds his way on the board in this deck. Uh, not having Morbius is not great. Uh, it's probably better than uh, the other Modoc decks because you do have alternative win conditions and a fairly stronger uh, mid game, but um, it's it's not smooth sailing if you're not uh if you're not hitting these guys. Uh, Cosmo Enchantress Rogue, you don't see a lot of them at the ranks I'm playing. I think they're gonna get steamed up a little bit as the Shuri decks kind of continue to dominate the meta. But uh, we'll see if you're not playing them uh, and not worrying about them. And finally, I think deciding lane power can be a little tricky. A lot of the deck really goes off in turns five and six, and it can be tricky to know exactly which line is best uh way to get the most power out of your cards if that makes sense moving on to snapping i think this is a great deck for early snapping especially if you have lady Seif, infinite and ghost rider you don't have to play ghost rider on four you can save him uh, again i think snap early snap often with this deck overall i think this might even be a better version of the deck despite being a budget version still climbing but i'll get back to you more cubes uh, from retreats, always helpful. And uh, I've had very good success with the deck. Over 100 games played, pretty successful with it, given, a, I think, a substantial sample size. And finally, thank you very much for getting this far. Give us a like, give us a comment. Let us know if you're still playing MODOK, how you feel about Zabu and Silver Surfer dying a quiet death, and uh, enjoy the gameplay. We'll see you on the other side. I think it's a Swordmaster next turn. Just... Pray. Swordmaster here is not bad. I think. Skip play Infinite. Kind of. Kind of feels that way. Uh, not. Terrible. I think we'll know if we want to just delete our lives here, though. Hmm, 
That's not good. Does Patriot Mystique win this for them? Interesting deck. Interesting. It's like Bad surfer. You think he's playing Leech? I think I have that avatar. She's way cuter. Of course, it's going to hit Morbius. It always, literally always does. Uh, I might sneak him in there. Oh no, Lady Sif. Oh wow. So do I just drop this here? Yeah, that's kind of good. What am I doing next turn? Just Nokia? Magneto. Oh, this is this is big. Do I snap this? I won't have priority. No longer. Interesting. Does this do anything for me though? I guess I get Chavez. I mean, there's no way. Does he think this is infinite? I mean, sure. You gonna... Death? You snapped on death? You silly person. I thought you were gonna do something clever. Sounds like a bot, but he's using a title. I don't think the bots use titles. Is that a conspiracy? This is kind of a good curve. Kind of need my cheat cards, though. It is not one of the cheat cards. I'm going to ignore Hala. Maybe Wolverine goes in there. Nope. Oh uh, man, Lady Sif. I think this is better. It's just bigger. Lady Sif could be played next turn. Yeah. My opponent playing the brood. Spicy. Not feeling great about that lane now. Which is fine. Surprised. Actually, Mirror Island is probably way better for Brood. So maybe, maybe it is a bond. Apocalypse is a big boy now. He's a little less of a big boy. Um, I don't think passing here is worth it when I have Nokia. I feel like I want to contest Hala and Mir Island. Do I just throw Nokia here? That's kind of risky. I don't know. It's kind of good, though. I'm getting four power. This could be a bad gamble. Sarah. I mean, this is so obviously a loss. But I feel like he's going to have to put two cards here. 
He's going to have like, okay, so Maximus is 16. And then Surfer gets him to 18. Still ahead. He's got to put one more thing here and then he can win that, but then he can't. I don't know. I feel like this is better going mid. If he splits up his shit, I win both of these. He's got to jam everything. All right, so this is, I think, a pretty easy win. I mean, the old, the old uh, surfer might have pulled that off. Draw a card. Cards are good. Inf oh, wow. We could do it. This could be... We need Ghost Rider on four. I don't care. I mean, I kind of care. Now I need Apocalypse to have a turn six play. Uh, yeah. Gems. Oh, Destroyer. She's going to be a choice one. Infinite's gone. Pop deck Ghost Rider. Yeah, this feels unfair. I'm just going to go for the throat here over on the... Deathlock. So far ahead of you. Not even funny. Then I do this. And it doesn't even matter that I don't have Chavez. Okay, the deck. This seems difficult to win. Oh, and we get the Apocalypse. Please snap me, daddy. Opponent clearly a bot if he continues, right? Going for it. Going for it. Going for it. Shang-Chi, fine. You have another one? chi hulk That was good. That was good. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, when a card moves here, so I don't want Polaris pulling him here. The Collector, that's a cool... You know, I'm not a big Dan Hip fan, but I like that. It's pretty cool. Turn 5 Dream Dimension really just breaks this deck, huh? Still scared of Polaris for some reason. Oh, wow. Discards. I think I just try to pass. I don't know. This isn't a very good line, but I think it's my only winnable line. I don't think he's playing arrow. Goose. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. So Modok unplayable. Do I gamble on the 50-50 here? I mean, I can't play Infinite. But I feel like I'm not winning with Infinite anyway. If that makes sense. That was pretty poopy. I don't know. I feel I feel ahead here. He knows what I'm playing. I don't think he can play anything here. He didn't get any value off of. Oh, I guess he he could have some weird. 
Hi, uh, aircraft carrier card. Modoc. Yep, that's fine. Oh, 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 oh. Doesn't have Dracula. Ah. Eh? Cheeky, cheeky. Are you uh, are you a conspiracy theorist with me? You get different matches based on what you're playing. Starts with the highest power. Morbius has some potential to have the highest power. Wants to give me a rock real bad. Oh, wow. I don't know what this deck is. Cerebro? Vulture. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pitch this. Maybe I high roll the shit out of it and pitch Infinite. Yeah, I played um, about a thousand games last season and got nowhere in my first like thousand games. Look at that. Nobody. So what threw away here? Oh, that was lame. Infinite. How did we draw so bad? I just want to get Wolverine out of here, potentially. I'm kind of winning this lane. I'm going to keep Swarm in case I draw Colleen Wing or Modoc next turn. This this isn't going well. Filling this lane is kind of bad. I'm still ahead of this guy in points. Valkyrie? Okay. Oh, we got a card. He's a uh, he's a wealthy player. Tie? Do I want to go for a tie? Tie here and just try to win two lanes. Could he put something huge down, double it, and then win by differential? I don't know. I think I like this better than Pi. Shang Chi? I don't think that's gonna win on differential though. Nope. Weird deck, man. Weird deck. Yeah, personally, like, man, when I'm just like, I can't get anything to go, I just do my dailies and call it a day. Just try to like get 600 credits and open caches and hope to win again. Now this is great. If I pull Ghost Rider, this is my favorite little combo here. Zabu, scary. Zabu has traditionally, in my experience, been um Mr. Negative. And I don't like this card. Uh, that's fine. That's lame. Uh, this is still good, I think. Ideally, don't want Wolverine to go there. But I think we're doing okay. He's gonna snap. I'm gonna have to stick around. You might Enchantress here, that's usually what they do. Yep. I mean, it's powerful, but it's not what I need to be doing. Uh, so we discarded the card we wanted the most. I think we just win this. If he doesn't, if Wolverine goes in Sanctorum, it's an easy snap. Moon Girl is a weird play. Alright. So, pretty easy snap. Do we think it's a bot? I mean, he's gonna retreat anyway. If 
it's a bot, maybe it hangs out. Nope. That was tough. I wanted to snap there. But I think if Wolverine would have popped over here... That's still 13. It's only 17 points. And I'm only up by 5 here. Up by 3. He could boost something big here. Oh, he's probably going to Hulk again. Because he moon girled it. Yeah. I think it was smart not to snap there. So, man, this, uh, we're still averaging a cube a game over almost 100 games. Granted, it's not the uh, height of the ladder. Oh, man, that always hits Morbius. Um, I just kind of like to go pound for pound. The Zabus. Uh, this isn't particularly good. But I'll play it. Rescue. This might be one of those games where I just straight up float. Turn five. Storm. Hmm. Maybe floating turn five is not going to work out for me. Oh, Lady Sif. This is kind of nasty because I'll delete Infinite. Is that winnable though? I can win just one lane. Handedly. No, I think I gotta play like Lady Sif in one of these other lanes. And then it's just Ghost Rider Infinite. Wow. All right, I'm okay with that. Nine power? Ugh, he's gonna jam one lane. Maybe he jams this one because he's got his claw already going there. That's what I would do. Yep. American Chavez. Ghost Rider pulls Infinite. All right. Risky snap. Swordmaster on three feeling pretty good with no Modoc in hand. It's cute Nova. Hermes. I feel like I've seen this guy before. I think I just kind of skip Big House. Maybe not. Oh, I have Modoc now. I mean, I can't not play this. Maybe I get Ghost Rider. That's too bad. Lady Sif? I feel like the only way this deck wins is when it has Bishop go off. So I'm going to avoid that. Not Sarah Miracle? Gonna do it. Mm. 
Yes. That's clever, but you got to see this next card. Good thing I was looking at priority. Nice. I didn't consider Shang-Chi. I forgot that deck runs that. Well, have you made it this far? Again, appreciate your time. I hope you uh, learned something. I hope you're excited to try out MODOK again. If uh, the, you know, the luster has worn off and you thought he was pretty gimmicky, I'm having a lot of success with this deck. I'll keep it posted if it keeps going well into the 80s. Uh, might be a ladder pusher. I'm sure he might wreck me. We'll see. Stay safe out there, Snappers. Catch you in the next one.